In a shocking turn of events, China may have taken the lead in the race to practical quantum computing. In 2020, Chinese scientists announced that their quantum computer had beat a record for solving a complex problem. Basically, this quantum computer works 100 trillion times faster than the fastest supercomputers in production. So, yes, this is a very big deal. Quantum computing is a type of computing that allows powerful machines to perform calculations that are far too complex for ordinary devices. The concept was discovered in 1980 by American physicist Richard Feynman and has two major military applications, decrypting encoded messages and sending cryptographic keys to intercept otherwise secure communication chains. In 2019, Google announced that its 53 qubit Sycamore processor had completed a task that would have taken a conventional supercomputer at least 2.5 days in 3.3 minutes. China's 66 qubit Zhuchongzhi 2 quantum processor reportedly completed the same task 1 million times faster in October. This processor was created by a team of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences Center for Excellence in Quantum Information and Quantum Physics, collaborated with the Shanghai Institute of Technical Physics and the Shanghai Institute of Microsystem and Information Technology. Traditional supercomputers, such as those used by the United States and Chinese militaries are used to run complex simulations for equipment design, process images and signals to identify targets and points of interest, and analyze massive amounts of data to uncover hidden trends and connections. However, some tasks continue to be time and resource intensive, and even the smallest computing bits require time to flip between 1 and 0. Superconducting quantum computers can overcome physical constraints by generating a superposition of 1 and 0 values. Standard computing bits must essentially be either a a 1 or a 0, but at extremely low temperatures, the physical properties of matter change dramatically. Superconducting quantum computers use these changes to create qubits, or quantum bits, that are not restricted by the processing limitations that traditional computers face. Qubits can be both 1 and 0 at the same time. This has the potential to greatly accelerate computing, allowing for attacks on previously unsolvable problems such as decrypting currently unbreakable codes, pushing AI and machine learning to greater heights, and developing entirely new materials, chemicals, and medicines. The world's scientific and military powers are racing against each other to make this promise a reality. In recent years, China has made several significant strides toward this goal. The University of Science and Technology of China, home to the famous Chinese quantum computing scholar Pan Jianwei, conducted the first space-based quantum communications in 2020. They used the Mesius satellite to establish an ultra-secure data link between two ground stations, separated by more than 1,000 miles. In October 2021, a Chinese team reported that its light-based Zhuzhong 2 processor could complete a task that would take a conventional computer 30 trillion years to complete in just one millisecond. This achievement established a new top speed for a quantum processor whose qubits are light-based rather than superconducting. The quantum states required for superconducting computers to operate are delicate, unstable, and prone to causing a large number of errors. But light-based supercomputers have drawbacks as well. For for instance, increasing the number of photons in this type of quantum computer is difficult due to their delicate state. It's anyone's guess which method becomes more popular. These recent accomplishments are the result of Beijing's emphasis on quantum computing research. China is said to be investing $10 billion in the field and reportedly increased national R&D spending by 7% in 2021. On the other side of the fence, the United States government spent $1.2 billion on quantum computing research in 2018 as part of a new national strategy. In 2021, the Senate passed legislation to establish a Directorate of Technology and Innovation at the National Science Foundation and add $29 billion for research into quantum computing and artificial intelligence from 2022 to 2026. The bill is still awaiting reconciliation with a similar bill passed by the House in March. Chinese researchers, firms, and agencies now hold more patents in quantum technology than the U.S., despite allegations that these advances are based on stolen U.S. work. Work. It should be noted that U.S. companies actually have more patents in the specific field of quantum computing, a title that China is set on taking as well. The Commerce Department blacklisted seven U.S. supercomputing entities in 2021 for their ties to the People's Liberation Army. On top of that, there is evidence that the Chinese
Chinese government has been stealing both government and commercial data from the US and storing it in preparation for the day when quantum computers can break today's encryption. Even with all the advancements being made, we are still a couple of years away from the true arrival of quantum computing. Most quantum computers can currently operate efficiently with around 50 qubits. To fully realize quantum computing's potential in code breaking, for example, thousands of qubits would be required. Even so, progress is being made. In November 2021, IBM reportedly produced a 127 qubit superconducting quantum computer. The company plans to unveil a 400 qubit processor this year and hopes to produce a 1000 qubit processor in 2023. Although it is unclear how far Chinese researchers have progressed in quantum computing, the Pentagon's 2021 report to Congress on China states that the Asian superpower continues its pursuit of leadership in key technologies with significant military potential. According to the report to Congress, China China's 14th five-year plan, an economic blueprint, prioritizes quantum technology among other new fields, and it intends to install satellite-enabled global quantum encrypted communications capability by 2030. Quantum could aid in detection of submarines and stealth aircraft, among other military vehicles, according to Heather West, a senior research analyst with market research firm IDC in Massachusetts. She said that quantum computing can break classical algorithms to spy on another country military. According to the science journal Nature, the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei made the first definitive demonstration of using quantum mechanics for computations that would be prohibitively slow on classical computers in 2021. According to the state-run China Daily News website, the country achieved a series of quantum technology breakthroughs, including the world's first quantum satellite, a 2,000-kilometer quantum communication line between Beijing and Shanghai, and the world's first optical quantum computer computing machine prototype in September. However, the news website said nothing about its military use. Alexander Vuving, a professor at Hawaii's Daniel K. Inouye Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies, said, I think the challenge is essentially in China's dual civilian military strategy, where the government will enlist the private sector in its military modernization program. In addition, the Chinese government invests heavily in research and development. China has previously alarmed other countries by combining civilian and military infrastructure as part of a military civil fusion development strategy that makes it difficult for the outside world to predict when academic research will be used by the People's Liberation Army. Although quantum computing is still in its infancy, multiple countries are racing to develop it. In addition to China, Vuving mentions the United States, India, Japan, and Germany. He believes that any frontrunners will not last long because any competitors will quickly replicate their breakthroughs. After the United States and Russia, the People's Liberation Army has the world's third largest armed forces. Japan, Taiwan, and other Southeast Asian countries are particularly concerned about the Chinese Navy's expansion into disputed sea areas. Since 2019, Washington has increased military activity on the same seas to monitor China's activities. Taiwan, the United States, or the European Union are all likely targets for China to launch quantum computing attacks. Chen Yi Fan, assistant professor of diplomacy and international relations at Tom Kong University in Taiwan. China is already suspected of conducting cyber attacks on Taiwan, a self-governing island that Beijing constantly claims as part of its territory. Outside of China, quantum computing is part of the AUKUS military technology sharing agreement signed in September by Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. According to the National Defense Industrial Association, the White House, National Science Foundation, and Department of Energy announced in August 2020 that they would award $625 million over five years for quantum research and development. We're seeing a lot of R&D going into the Department of Defense in the United States, Heather West said. I don't think they'd be putting money into it if they didn't believe there was that much potential. You may be wondering why we need quantum computers at all. They are difficult to design, build, and program. Furthermore, due to the nature of quantum physics, they are susceptible to errors, faults, and the loss of quantum states. However, quantum computing has some distinct advantages, at least theoretically. First, they are super fast, completing calculations that would take conventional computers millennia to solve in mere seconds. We already discussed this earlier, so let's move on. Second, they are capable of resolving complex issues. The more difficult a problem is, the harder it becomes to solve, even for a supercomputer. When a traditional computer fails, it is usually due to a high level of complexity and a large number of interacting variables. However, because of the concepts of superposition and entanglement, quantum computers can account for all of these variables and complexities in order to find 
find a solution. And last but not least, they are capable of running complex simulations. Because of the speed and complexity that quantum computing can achieve, a quantum computer could theoretically simulate many intricate systems, allowing us to better understand some of life's great mysteries. It is obvious that quantum computers will have a significant impact on organizations all over the world, advancing technologies in ways we don't fully comprehend yet. While these incredible machines will almost certainly provide enormous benefits, it is crucial that we educate ourselves on the potential risks that may arise if such power is misused. When it comes to cybersecurity, for example, the potential consequences can be disastrous. All all current encryption mechanisms will be rendered useless from one day to the next due to their unparalleled computing power. Secure communication or any type of internet transaction could be cracked, and the data misused or resold. Many cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, would no longer be secure or anonymous. Researchers are already working on post-quantum cryptography to prevent this from happening. We're also seeing calls from across the industry for the formation of ethical guidelines to prevent quantum technology from being used to hurt people. Secure communication should be possible in the future with new methods. How do you think quantum computing will change our lives? Should we be worried about China's advancements in quantum technology? Let us know all this and more down in the comments section below. Support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. Until next time, welcome to the future.